Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can do the grouping of data within Power Query. So before I show you just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this Google Sheet which for which the link is present in the description and in this Google Sheet you have you have the repository all of all of my videos that I have posted on YouTube. So that way you can use or you can search uh, any of my video by having this title, title that is present in column A and jump to that video using the link that is in column B. That way if you are on a path to learning Power BI and you want to have your own way of uh, learning the things and your own priorities then you can search from here and jump on that video. And then uh, over here you have uh, uh, the link which I am the data set that I'm using the superstore sales is also the one which is present here for this also link is present in description okay with that information let's go ahead and uh, and uh, go to the power query so transform data is where you need to click to enable the power query option and uh, what we can do is either we can go on to the new source or I can go on to the recent source to basically bring the data. So for now, I'll just go ahead and click on the Excel workbook. In the Excel workbook, Power BI Superstore Sales is what I will open. And then I can go ahead and show you the grouping operations once I import the data into the Power BI. So over here in the sheet, I select this and click OK. And then we can go ahead and uh, wait for a couple of seconds as it imports the data inside Power Query. Okay, so this is what uh, the data set that we are having, right? And uh, over here, if you see, you know, we have a lot of columns. So let's say we don't want, or we have a requirement that we want to group the data, uh, let's say by some of the products that we are having. So for example, I know that this is having a product subcategory like this, Let's say we want to have the quantity information grouped by this because let's say we are not working on a huge analysis where we need all of this and uh, we just need something which is simple. And then later I will also show you how you can keep this data intact and create a new query altogether. Right? So first we will go with the basic approach. So for that what I can do is click on the group by over here and when I click on group by you will see that it has two options basic and advanced what I'm showing you today is the basic maybe in the next video I'll show you the advanced option so what you have is the subcategory and then over here let's say the column name the measure we can give it the quantity and we can say sum and the column over here is the quantity so what it is telling you that group this entire data only by subcategory column where uh, you want to view the quantity by subcategory and you click okay right so all the things are removed what you finally got is the subcategory and quantity let's say if this is a very simple analysis that you are working on or if this is what the requirement is you can very easily get it from here another thing which is very helpful can be uh, which can be very helpful for the data modeling perspective is let's say creating more tables right so what I meant by that is that you don't want to change your existing data or the detailed data. So what you can do is you can uncheck or undo this from here and come back to your detailed data, right? Now, uh, to, to have the same operation, but on a different data set, what you can do is you can come over here on sheet one and say duplicate, right? So this is a duplicate of the same thing. And now what I can do is I can again go to that subcategory. Where is that subcategory? Or this time, let's say I choose product. Okay. So product group by. So product name group by. And then I give quantity. And this time again, I take a sum. And I take quantity column and I click OK. Right. So that way I now have my product which is uh, a lot of different products and then sheet one is basically intact that way i can have sheet one or sheet two maybe i can right click and rename this and say um, product 
by quantity or P R O D if that helps, right? So product by quantity and then this is your detailed data. That way you keep both the tables with you and uh, work with your ratios. So that's what I wanted to show you as part of the basic data uh, grouping operation that you can do. Uh, you have both the options and uh, where you want to let's say manipulate the main data or want to don't want to change main data but want to create a separate table then you can very easily create it with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic